Welcome to Sarofa's Biology Notes once again. In this video, we'll be looking at the composition of blood as one, and we're also looking at formation of tissue fluid. In the blood, there are several cells red blood cells, or erythrocytes, platelets, white blood cells, plasma. In the plasma dissolved in it, you have these substances, glucose amino acids, mineral ions, and hormones. There's also plasma proteins in the plasma. These plasma proteins are first and foremost albumin, which helps to maintain the osmotic potential of the blood. Then we have fibrinogen, which participates in clotting of the blood and point fibrin and then you have the globulins which are part of the defense mechanism and participate in immunity. The red blood cells carry oxygen to the cells of the body and the platelets are responsible also for the clotting mechanism of the blood. There are four three white blood cells lymphocytes, neutrophils, Phagocytes, they are also macrophages and they defend the body against pathogens and provide immune response. Let's look at the formation of tissue fluid. This is the capillary where exchange of substances occur. Around the capillary are cells and between these cells are tissue fluid that is a part of the nutrients provided to the cell. Now, on the capillary, there is an arterial end where the artery brings the blood from the heart, and there is a venous end where blood leaves and enters the veins and venues. Blood can travel along the capillaries very slowly. At the capillary end, there is hydrostatic pressure is very high but the oncotic pressure is not so high. As a result, blood, not blood, but fluid is forced out of the capillaries. At the venous end, hydrostatic pressure is low, it's 2.3 kilopascal, and the oncotic pressure is 3.3 kilopascal high. As a result, fluid is reabsorbed back into the blood by process of osmosis. 90% of the fluid returns, returns back by osmosis. Now, 10% is mainly taken in by the lymph capillaries. These lymph capillaries absorb 10% of the tissue fluid that remains behind. In this lymph, there is no plasma protein, no red blood cells, less oxygen, less nutrients, 